She's like, is anyone gonna watch me blow out the candles? Because hello, this is my birthday. These glares that she is doing right now. Sissy, are, are you okay? They have their first child. I'm so excited. Hey rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. So this episode we are going to one see Adric and Dessa's baby. It's going to be born but it's going to be at the end of this episode but that is going to be the heir to the UKSD throne so I'm super excited for that and then we're going to first start with Sissy aging up into a teenager. We're going to have her birthday party then I'm going to show you guys very briefly the teens that will be attending the debutante ball in the next episode. I'm also really quickly like I'm not gonna give a full tour I can't because it's not fully furnished but I'm gonna show you our newly renovated Willow Creek Palace so I'm really just gonna show you guys the outside of that because I want to make sure I furnish the inside a little bit more before I show you guys so if you're excited for this episode make sure you hit that like button also just want to say if my voice is a little bit raspy I apologize it's like 12 a.m. right now so my voice is a little bit spent for the day but I'm gonna do the best I can I wanted to make sure that I filmed this video and I'm really excited for it too. But now we are going to start the birthday party. Guests are arriving. I think some people are just like a little bit stuck. Looks like Cedric has shown up with bubbles. He's blowing bubbles right now. That's really cute. But this is our party area here. I'm gonna have some Mora. Uh, she's gonna serve some food and we're gonna call people to the meal because I, I don't know why everyone's just standing out there. Oh wait, can we not call people to the meal yet? Is it too early? Do we have to wait for more people to arrive? I think so. Wait, really? I thought that was an option no matter what. Oh, okay, I had a door missing, so now I can call people to the meal. <laughs> so no one could come downstairs. Oh, okay, uh, Zamora is calling people to the meal while she's in the table, that's fine. Oh, oh, um, ignore this. I had a trash can here because I was trying to clean up and I'm just gonna throw that away. We can worry about that later. Okay, Zamora has called the guests to the meal. Hopefully they start coming downstairs. Okay, so more guests have arrived now. We of course have our birthday girl, Sissy. I'm so excited to see her as a teenager. Sissy's talking to Alice May and Cedric. We have Aurora here. So Aurora is Lady Nani's mother. We have, a, uh, well, well, we have all of Lady Nani's siblings here. So they should be all arriving shortly. This is Lord Keone, who I mentioned who I showed you guys in the last episode. So Sissy, like she knows Nani's siblings, like Keone, Nikau, and Tally. And this is also Makai's daughter, Iolana. So she has aged up into a child. Her eyebrows are very blue. I'm trying to figure out why they are. They're not just like blue glow, like from the black hair, they are blue. And I, I, I don't know why they keep changing to that. So it might be a glitch because she is a mermaid. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Also, she's sad and I don't know why. So I have to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, she's also here. So they're a good amount younger than Sissy is, but Cedric has been hanging out with them all more lately. But Sissy like has been hanging out with them, but obviously not as much. She's a little bit older. So another person, I told you guys he was aging up in this or by, by this episode, um, but this is Lord Shen, which is Han's nephew, Tai's son. So he grew up, um, but he is here and let's see, Elon's here, Natalia's here, Amira. This is Shen's father, Admiral Jung. This is, uh, well, we have Desta, of course. Desta's very pregnant. She's gonna be having her baby later on at the end of this episode. This is Kaikoa. So this is Makai's son and Iolana, oh, wherever she is, yeah. Iolana's little brother. So that's Makai's son. Um, Kiyoti is like angry dancing. I don't think I've ever seen a sim angry dance like this before. This is very interesting, huh? Okay. <laughs> it looks like he's like, I don't even know. I don't know what's happening, but Kaikoa seems into it. I mean, that's his cousin. So he seems to be enjoying dancing with his cousin, even though his cousin is angry dancing right now. But he's super cute, of course, it's Makai's son. I'm actually going to have Zamora feel Desta's baby bump. So let me ask to feel baby. She's gonna have her first grandchild. I'm sure, oh, okay, pregnancy announcement. Um, so Manuel and Juliet are pregnant and they are going to be having their baby not so in in two two or three episodes it's going to be so the next episode is the debutante ball the first part then the episode after that 
is going to be the second part of the debutante ball. So the episode after that is when Julia and Manuel are having their baby. And I have another pregnancy announcement, but I'm going to wait to announce that in the next episode. But Elon and Natalia, I'm sure will have pregnancy announcements for them soon too. So they will be having a baby soon. This is Kona, my goodness. Oh, and there's Jessica. So it's kind of a random group of people. It's a little bit of a smaller birthday party, um, but we are have, oh, I, I really need to pick Kona's outfits. I don't actually have like a, a, a fitting outfit for him. Um, also, Amir is a little bit overdressed, but that's fine. Jessica's a tiny bit underdressed. Um, but yeah, Jessica's here because like her, her sister is here and her sister's kind of with the whole group here, like of, of Sissy's younger friends. So that's why I invited Jessica and then Kaikoa, which is her brother. So Kaikoa and Iolana are Jessica's younger siblings. And then Makai should be here and Lily should be here. Of course, Kona's here. And then this is Kona's wife, Aurora. Um, oh yeah, and then I forgot, I would let you guys see them a little bit closer. So that's Aurora, Kona's wife. Um, oh no, I almost said sister. Kona's wife. Um, and that is also Amira's cousin because she is Princess Anna's, one of her daughters. And then of course we have Kona who is super cute, just like Makai. Also, he's missing eyelashes. I just realized that. So I need to fix that at some point. Yeah, I think he's one of the people I need to update outfits for. And then a couple other people should be showing up in a little bit. Of course, we have some people dancing, um, but we are now going to have Sissy blow out the candles. I'm just really excited. Um, so we're going to blow out candles and then I'm just going to pick like just a very basic outfit for her. And then I will, okay, so the next video is probably going to be me picking outfits for Kimmy. I usually only do that for like queens really, or or empresses like Araminta. Oh, hold on, let me, let me talk about it after she blows out the candles. Oh, she's so pretty, I'm so excited. Oh, she's just, death staring. She's like, is anyone gonna watch me blow out the candles? Because hello, this is my birthday. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. Is she frozen? Oh, oh, oh. She just glare, th these glares that she is doing right now. Sissy, are, are you okay? Oh, oh, she's okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. She was death staring like very seriously. Okay, she's aging up though into a teenager. All right, Sissy is a perfectionist. I also think Sissy is very self-assured. So I'm gonna add that for one of her traits. And then for an aspiration, um, it might change later on as we get to see her grow and stuff for now. I think I'm going to say friend of the world. I think she's pretty outgoing. So I'm gonna say friend of the world. Whoa, okay. I am going to give Sissy a makeover and I will be right back. All right, so this is Sissy. This look is subject to change. I will be doing a full makeover. What I was saying about the makeovers earlier is that the next video is going to be Kimmy's Sulani makeover, just like more clothes fit or fit. Yeah, more clothes fitting for Sulani. But yeah, this is Sissy and she looks, oh, what is she? Oh, she's grumpy about something. Um, but yeah, so she's a teenager now. She's all grown up. She's gonna be going to the debutante ball and like meeting Alice May and her friends there and kind of going with her group. And she is bringing Shen. So Shen, since he's from the, um, he said he's from Han's kingdom, which is Qinxing. He is not technically part of the Seven Kingdoms, the Alliance of the Seven Kingdoms. So he's going as Sissy's date, but they're just friends. They've been friends since they were little. They, uh, they're just friends, but he's still going as her date so he can go to the ball. Plus he's gonna be like her closest friend there besides Alice May, but she's gonna meet like a ton of new people at the ball. And I'm sure Alice May is gonna like introduce her to as many people as she can too. So she'll be hanging out with Alice May more. We'll see her a good amount. She is a, a couple years younger than them. She might end up hanging out with some people that are more her age, like Shen and some others, but Alice May will invite her to as many things as possible. We'll see. I kind of see Sissy as being able, like being more mature for her age. So I can see her Hang no, I can see her hanging out with Alice May and her friends. There's just, of course, some stuff going on with that whole group, which we will see a lot more later. So I'm not gonna get that into it now. But yeah, okay, Sissy's a teenager. I'm excited for her. She's beautiful. Oh, is there classical music playing? That is probably why no one's like dancing 
full on. Although Amira is, everyone has made, Amira's like always in the center of the dance circles, which I just find hilarious. But she's dancing in the middle here while people are gathered around her. And we'll come back here for when Desta has her baby. I just wanna show you guys all the other teenagers coming to the Debbie Tom ball first. Oh, Alice May and Sissy are just kind of having like a deep conversation. Oh, well, never mind. She got up. But they were just chatting. Maybe Alice May's telling her about, I guess, the Debbie Tom ball, what she's heard about it, and how excited they are, maybe. Okay. I'm sorry that not a lot of people showed up. I don't know where everybody is. There were supposed to be a couple more kids that would come. Um, we did get to see a good amount of people at Kimmy and Makana's wedding in the last episode, though. But yeah, they're gonna have fun. We'll be back for when Desta has her baby. But Sissy slash Nephthys, people were wondering if you forgot her full name is Nephthys, um, but her nickname is Sissy and that's usually what she goes by. But she's beautiful and I'm so excited to see more of her. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys the nobles that are going to be attending the debutante ball besides our main teens. You guys know our main teens very well, so I'm not gonna go through with them. But I'm going to start in Dakarai since we're already here. We're gonna see their faces and them interact and everything at the debutante ball. So I'm not gonna like go into live mode and show you guys, I'm just gonna show you guys from the Managed Worlds view. So first of all, I said I would introduce them here, but this right here, these are two nobles that live in Dakarai. So this family was made by Jade Lynn Marie, 22. They're in mostly the same outfits. I had to change some of the CC to the stuff that I had. So we have Marquis Ali and their last name is Musa. And then his wife is Marchioness Safia. And then they have two teenagers who are going to be at the debutante ball. We have Lady Zara, and then we have Lord Umar. And Zara and Umar are twins. So they will be at the debutante ball. And then, so this next family, none of them are, are gonna be at the debutante ball, but I do still want to introduce them since we are here. I said we would do that in this episode. So this family was originally made by Violetta Sims YT. So from this family, the Baron's name is Tumelo, so Baron Tumelo, and then his wife is Baroness Malika, and then their son, the oldest son, his name is Lord Cairo, um, and then we have Lady Kenya, which is their little girl, so she's a toddler currently. We'll see more of them soon, for sure, but yeah, none of them are going to the debutante ball, but I wanted to introduce them, so thank you, Jade, and thank you, Violetta, for submitting your sims, um, and then if you, so I've had people ask before, so you can always submit your sims to Mira Ray Townies, that hashtag on the gallery and I will download sims as needed. I don't currently, I'm not currently looking for any sims, but if I am in the future, I will let you guys know. I will always check there first if I'm looking for specific sims. So yeah, just want to let you guys know that. So next in Sulani, the sims that are going to the debutante ball, of course we have Nani and Malia, they're going. So you guys already know them. And then next we have, this is Lord Zachary. So Zachary is the son of Baroness Leah, which is one of Makai and Leilana's cousins. So that's Baroness Leah. And then we have, so she's actually supposed to be Baroness Consort Marjorie, so I need to change that. But Marjorie is Queen Corinne's younger sister. But yeah, Lord Zachary is super cute. I'm excited for him to be at the debutante ball. So that is all the teens from Sulani going to the debutante ball. And then next, I'm going to show you guys the teenagers in Salvadorada. Um, I need to choose their house. The furniture from their house disappeared. So just ignore that. Also, this is where Natalia and Elon are currently living, if you did not know. So this is Consort Baron Keikoa, which is Baroness Leah's younger brother. And so he is also a cousin of Makai and Leilana and Kona. Um, so that is Kekoa and his wife, Baroness Nadia. So they are the Baron and Baroness of Salvadorada. So not to, I hope this doesn't confuse anyone, but the United Kingdom of Salvadorada and Dakrai is the only kingdom that's going to have multiple like dukes and barons and uh, like all that because they are the only kingdom that combines two kingdoms, the United Kingdom. People asked if that would be the case for Guangxi. I've mentioned this before. Guangxi is one kingdom. Mount Kumrebi is like the mountain in Guangxi, um, but it's supposed to be one kingdom. I know the worlds are weird because it's, I, I didn't have that many options. So um, Glimmerbrook and Mount Kumrebi are one world and we're pretending that that world has always been there. So that's one kingdom. No other kingdom is a United Kingdom. It is just, Salvadrada and Dakarai. 
So just wanted to clarify that. But anyway, so they have two kids. They ha also have twins. So this is Lady Nyla. She is gorgeous. I'm so excited for her to be at the ball. This is Lady Nyla and this is Lord Roman. So they are Zachary's cousins. So those are all the teenagers going from Salvadorada. And then next we're gonna go to Brindleton Bay. So you guys know Lady Ember. She is the daughter of Marchioness Kayla and Marquis Wyatt of Brindleton Bay. So she's the one that William rebounded with after his breakup with Minerva. I explained that a little bit in the last episode from the story post. She is going as William's date. She asked William to go as her date and William didn't want to say no, so he said yes. He's actually, they're gonna like pick up Ember on the way to Brindleton Bay because the debutante ball, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the debutante ball is at the Brindleton Bay Palace. I originally had mentioned that it was gonna be at Willow Creek or Oasis Springs, but because they have teenagers here, I think that Molly Grace, especially Molly Grace, but Molly Grace and Frederick would be more excited about hosting the debutante ball. This is like where Molly Grace is gonna thrive. Like she's so excited to be hosting the debutante ball or that her family is hosting the debutante ball. So William is like kind of going with Alice May and Caspian because I mean, William lives right next to Alice May. William thinks that Alice May and Caspian are friends. He doesn't think they're, they're going as dates. So Caspian and Alice May have to pretend they're friends, even though they're like a little bit more than friends, but they're all gonna go together and then they're gonna like pick up Lady Ember on the way to the Brindleton Bay Palace. And then the other teenager in Brindleton Bay is Baron Juan. He actually used to be Baron John, but we changed his name because there's another John, which is Genevieve's boyfriend. So we decided to change his name to Juan. He is the Baron. His father was previously the Baron, but he is father, um, might have been cut off on one of our streams. So we'll say he died of like an illness. He died a little bit early, but his wife was uh, the Dowager Baroness Christina, or now she's the Dowager Baroness Christina. But then Christina got remarried to Nathan. Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry. I have to change his name. I'm sorry if this is confusing. I'm just like spitting out all this information. This used to be the Duke of Willow Creek, but he was the consort Duke of Willow Creek. He was married to Duchess Isadora of Willow Creek, who might have also possibly passed away from one of our streams. Our streams sound horrible to the people who don't join. Like, um, they're a lot of fun, but I've mentioned this before when we were talking about like the noble updates and all that stuff, which was several episodes ago. But if you weren't familiar, we occasionally to make room for more Sims, will have a, another Sim that isn't really important to the story. They will die off of um, sometimes unnatural causes, sometimes natural causes. But anyway, point of that, Nathaniel got married to Christina. Nathaniel and Isadora had Lady Cassidy. I need to change their names. I didn't realize I didn't do that yet, but he would be, I don't actually know if he would be the con, like the Dowager Duke of Willow Creek. I would have to figure that out. Previously in that Noble Updates video, I had mentioned that if the fee, because of just rules that I've had to look up, but if the female was carrying the title, then I had kept their spouse as uh, like Lord or Lady. But then someone pointed out that I could just do consort. So technically Nathaniel was Duke consort. I haven't gotten a chance to update all the titles yet and make sure we do that on a stream and we'll do like a cleanup stream. But yeah, I just got to figure out his name now, but he was the Duke consort of Willow Creek. Now I he, he might just be Lord. Let me try to figure that out. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm just rambling now, but he was married or he is married to Dowager Christina, Dowager Baroness Christina of not Willow Creek, of Brindleton Bay. This is what happens when it's 12 a.m. I get very scatterbrained. And now her son is Baron Juan, who is one of the guys that Molly Grace talked to as well. But yeah, he's the Baron of Brindleton Bay and he is going to be at the Debbie Ball. All right, moving on. I don't think there's anyone in Oasis Springs. Of course, you guys know Minerva. She's going to the debutante ball. Minerva is actually friends with, yes. So Minerva is friends with Zara. So they're like going to the debutante ball, like kind of together as a group, like with Zara and with Umar as well. So they're all friends. They'll be going to the debutante ball and then Minerva will be going off to Foxbury. But I don't think there's anyone else here. However, Julia and Manuel, they did 
did move into this house over here. So they are now the Duke and Duchess of Oasis Springs. And then in Windenburg, so this is, um, oh yeah, oh, let me show you a picture of Diana and Abraham's baby Vincent. I apologize, I did not show you guys that yet. And we're not gonna have time, unfortunately, to go into their household, but let me show you a picture of baby Vincent. He's super cute and I'm really excited for them to have more kids, but we're just gonna wait a little bit longer. But yeah, that's baby Vincent. So there's a little picture of him, but this is the other teenager besides Graham. So Graham is going to the Debbie Tom ball with Molly Grace. He's not actually like, he lives in Windenburg, but he's not going with Alice May and Caspian and William. He's already gonna be in Brindleton Bay. But this right here is another teenager going. So this is Lord Winston and his mother is Marchioness Ezra, which is one of Amira's cousins. She's the eldest daughter of Princess Anna. And then her husband is Lord Jaden. So this is their son, Lord Winston. I kind of feel like he probably goes to boarding school, so we don't see him that often, but he's going to be seeing a lot of people and we'll see him at the debutante ball. He is also Nani and Molly Grace and Frederick's cousin because of their mothers all being sisters. And then in Willow Creek, I will show you guys the palace of Willow Creek in just a second, but here we have twins, Marky Liam and Lady Eloise. So they are teenagers, they are going to the debutante ball and Marky Liam was the one who we saw arguing at Natalia and Elon's wedding with Molly Grace. So they used to talk. Lady Eloise and Molly Grace don't like each other all that much either because Lady Eloise is Liam's sister. So she like sticks up for her brother and then Liam and Molly Grace don't like each other. So it's a complicated situation, but we'll see them at the debutante ball. But their mother is Dowager Marchioness Tina. And then she got remarried to Lady Helena, which was Prince Michael's wife, who if you remember, they had a baby early. They had Lord J, and then they were forced to get married because they had the baby out of, web, out of wedlock when they were teenagers. So they, Michael and Helena got divorced after Dowager Queen Lindsay passed away and then Helena got remarried to Lady Tina or Dowager Marchioness Tina. So yeah, I know the families are super complicated, especially with like all the deaths and stuff now. I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, Journey doesn't have a top on, I need to fix that. I don't think there's any other teenagers going. I think that's everybody besides like our main teens that you guys know that we've already talked about and Shen of course too. But let's go into the Willow Creek Royal family. We're going, oh yeah, and then Elena and Takashi, they moved out too. So they're currently living in the old Glimmerbrook Palace, the old Guangxi Palace, the one that's in the Glimmerbrook world. So they are, the, uh, what did I say? The Marquis, yeah, the Marquis and the Marchioness of Guangxi. All right, so this is our newly renovated Willow Creek Palace. This was originally made by Lily who made the old Willow Creek Palace. I'm only gonna show you guys the outside and like the first floor because the other floors I need to add more furniture to. So I'm gonna link her gallery information in the video description below. Also, it's still cloudy in Willow Creek. It's been cloudy here forever. It's almost like when in Glimmerbrook, it was constantly raining all the time until Anya left, then it suddenly became sunny. I don't know what's going on here in Willow Creek, but it has been cloudy for like ever. And I, I don't know why, but this is the outside of the palace. It's huge, it's beautiful. I'm excited to have more events here too. And then I will show you guys the first floor floor. So this is the entrance here, the foyer. We got our nice grand staircase here. Um, and then in here we have a parlor room and we have Ellis playing chess in the parlor room. Then in here we have Louis's office, which is, oh, beautiful. This is Louis' office, it's huge. And then in here we have the ballroom and then the throne room is in here. I'm gonna add a few of the thrones that I have in here as well. But yeah, this is the throne room. So I'm gonna have more chairs set up, like singular chairs for the throne room. And then our ballroom is nice and big and spacious. Um, and then we have the kitchen, which is such a nice kitchen. Like, oh my God, I can just imagine like the entire staff in here making a ton of food for like a big royal event or like a banquet or something. It's so nice. And then we have what looks like a little, oh, this is a tea room, which I feel like would be a great room that Corinne would enjoy. I'm sure Genevieve would love coming in here too when she sees the renovated palace. And then in here we have another parlor room. I So Genevieve and John, they're going to be, they're just staying with family for a little bit, but they're going to be going back to go travel very soon. I will post pictures of them soon. I have not, and I need to do that. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice parlor room. I love the wood and the blue in here. And then this is the dining room. So this is where all the banquets would be. 
see. Oh, that was a butterfly, I think. So yeah, that's the first floor. Again, I will give you guys a full tour in another episode once I've added more furniture to the other rooms. So yeah, that's our newly renovated Willow Creek Palace. Okay, so we are back at the Dakarai Palace and Desta's about to have her baby. Uh, oh, Sissy's, oh yeah, that's the only outfit I have for her right now, but the other ones are a little bit crazy, so I'll make sure to give her a full makeover soon. But they were gathered in here in the parlor room and Sissy's learning how to play piano and they're all watching her, which I think is super, super cute. Okay, Desta is now in labor. Oh, she's so uncomfortable. Oh yeah, oh yeah, her water broke. Oh yeah, I just, okay, I think I have seen that before because in the last episode I was like, wait, their water can break when I saw Diana's water break, but I actually do remember that being a thing before. I just feel like I haven't seen it that recently. Anyway, Desta's water broke. She's in labor. Adric, you are like a great brother for focusing on your sister playing the piano, but you need to take your wife to the hospital. Go have, have the baby. Have baby at hospital. Send alone. Okay, her and Adric are go- Oh, Adric's freaking out! It's his first baby! They're going to the hospital! Oh, Cedric left his bubbles here from earlier. That's fine. This is also Samora's first grandchild. This is Elon and Natalia's first niece or nephew. I'm sure Jabari is gonna be so excited too. I'm sure when they have their baby. Yeah, Windenburg, they're the royal family of Windenburg, they're gonna come visit. Okay, Dustin and Adric had their baby. They had a baby boy. So the name that I have picked out is is Osiris. So it is Prince Osiris. So now we have the Crown Prince Osiris of the UKSD. So they have their first child. I'm so excited. All right, Osiris, where are you? Are you floating? Yes, of course you're floating. Okay, we are going to give him a bassinet or a crib. We're just gonna pick a, oh, this room is blue. Let me make this blue. Just gonna pick a random one for now. And then I will use the toddler preset on him. So we will see him. I, I'm not sure in the next episode because we've got a lot going on in the next episode but i'm gonna try to get a picture of him in the toddler preset by then but they have a baby i'm so excited you guys he is the heir to the doc ryan salvadorada throne the ukst throne i don't want to have them have kids like one after another because then it makes it hard to determine ages of the characters and stuff so they're gonna have more kids but we are going to wait until i've judged that like a couple months at least have passed because they have have, like before the issue with determining ages with Arya, Kimmy, Aisha, Manuel, and like Cornelius, Genevieve, and Elena and Julia and all them is that they would literally, we would have them have the baby and then they would try for like Naya and Philip and, oh, Philip, um, but Naya and Philip and Corinne and Louis would try for a baby like that day. So then they would have the baby like a couple days later. So yeah, I'm gonna wait a little bit so it makes it easier, but yay. We're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know your thoughts and predictions for our W Tomball, which is the next episode and oh my gosh I've been looking forward to this for so long I am so excited so let me know in the comments below your thoughts your predictions and your thoughts on the teenagers the other teenagers that are going to the debutante ball if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and I will see you guys in the next video bye